Hi, today we are going to have a video tutorial on cost of equity by Abbas Watoli, Assistant Professor of Commerce, Amal College of Advanced Studies, Nilambu. First, what is cost of equity? You know, cost of capital refers to the expected rate of return on capital. It can be separated into cost of debt and cost of equity. Cost of debt is relatively easy to determine as observed from the interest rate on debt, while cost of equity needs to be carefully estimated as unobservable from explicit cost. Cost of equity is the return that a firm theoretically pays to its shareholders for the risk they undertake by investing their capital or it is the minimum rate of return which a company must generate in order to convince its investors to stay invested in the company at the current market price. Financial theory suggests that as the risk of investing in a firm increases, the cost of equity also increases. Next, estimation of cost of equity. There are different methods to estimate the required rate of return on equity capital. The two most popular methods among them are dividend discount model and capital asset pricing model. Dividend discount model. Here, the required rate of return on equity capital is arrived at by discounting future dividend and growth rate. Cost of equity is equal to dividend in the next period divided by current market price plus growth rate. Dividend in next period is equal to current period dividend into 1 plus growth rate. Growth rate is equal to 1 minus payout ratio into return on equity. Example, the share price of ITC as on 31st March 2016 is 330 per share. Its last 5 years average total dividend is rupees 10 per share and payout ratio is 60%. The return on equity is 30%. Calculate the cost of equity using dividend discount model. Now we have the current market price rupees 330. We need to estimate the growth rate and dividend in next period. Growth rate is equal to 1 minus payout ratio into return on equity. Growth rate is equal to 1 minus 60% into 30%. That is 12%. Dividends in next period is equal to dividends in current period into 1 plus growth rate. That is rupees 10 into 1 plus 12 percent is equal to 11.2. Now we have the required inputs which we can just punch into the following equation to get an estimate for return on equity. Cost of equity is equal to dividend in the next period divided by current market price plus growth rate. Cost of equity is equal to rupees 11.2 divided by rupees 330 plus 12%. Cost of equity is equal to 3.39% plus 12% that is equal to 15.39%. Now, capital asset pricing model. Here, the required rate of return on equity capital is estimated by adding a risk premium to the risk free rate of return. Cost of equity is equal to risk free rate plus beta coefficient into market risk premium. Market risk premium is equal to market rate of return minus risk free rate. Risk free rate is the rate of return on short term treasury bond. Beta coefficient is a statistic that measures the systematic risk of a company's common stock. The market rate of return is the rate of return on the market, like any broad index. Example, 
the yield on 10 year government of india bond as at 31st march 2016 is 7.5% the share price of itc for the same day is 330 per share while it has a beta coefficient of 0.55 trailing 12 months return on nifty is 18% estimate cost of equity Cost of equity is equal to risk-free rate plus beta coefficient into market rate of return minus risk-free rate. So cost of equity is equal to 7.5% plus 0.55 into 20 minus 7.5. That is 12.27%. Thank you.